Hello everyone. Welcome to New Moon Acrylics. My name is Rhonda and today um, I'm going to be doing another painting that I've been wanting to play with. But if you remember that big blowout piece that I did with the earth tones, I want to be doing another painting like that, but not like that. Same color palette, pretty much same size canvas, but I want to do a huge ring pour today. Um, I just want to get in the paint, get messy, have fun, and hopefully create something really beautiful. So are you ready? I'm ready. So let's go create something new. Alrighty. Hello everyone. I hope everybody's doing just wonderful today. It's a pretty day outside. It's hot, but it's pretty. Um, so yeah, thank you all for being here and joining me to make a mess. I'm just kidding. We're gonna create something really pretty today, I hope. So I'm working today with Creative Inspirations paints and GenCraft paints. Um, I will put all of the colors and everything down in the description, but I'll tell you what they are real quick. So we have a metallic silver, and these are creative inspirations in these big tubes. Then we have a metallic copper, a metallic bronze, a Van Dyke brown, and pearlescence. Those are all creative inspirations. And then in Gen Crafts, I have raw sienna, raw umber, and black. So I am going to get these out of the way. The last time I, I combined these two brands of paint, I had such beautiful cells that came out of it and lacing, and that was just using Floetrol paint and water, which is exactly what this is here. This is the canvas that we're going to be painting on right here, big, big canvas. This is a 24 by 32. So I'm going to put that up on my paint stands in a minute, but first I need to put my hair up. So give me just a second. You gotta love when I forget to put the hair up. I actually was doing a painting one time, forgot to put my hair up and I leaned over the canvas to blow with my mouth and my hair fell down on the canvas and I had white all in my hair and it took a while to get it out. Okay, so this is the cup that I'm going to layer in. We're going to be doing a big ring pour. So I'm going to layer my paints in this cup right here. So I think first I'm gonna lay down some of the Van Dyke Brown. And this size canvas right here will take about 30 ounces of paint. Okay, and then I wanna go with, and as I lay the colors in there, I'll get my cups right. Put in a little bit of that one. And this is gonna be a multi-layer. So then I'm gonna do some bronze. And the consistency of this paint is not super thick, but it's thick enough. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of black right there, just to add a little bit of contrast. And then we'll add this brown. Already making a mess, folks. And then I'll add the copper. Put in a little bit of pearlescence. And then we'll do some silver. And then we will repeat the process. Go with the brown.
I'm just gonna put a little bit of black right here. Okay, now, look at that cup, folks. Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely, I'm just gonna leave it in the cup. Kidding, kidding, kidding. All right, I'm gonna get my paint stands out here now. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna be blocking the camera for one second, blocking your view, just so I can get these lined up. Let's we'll see how well we do. Okay. And now get the other side on. All right. Now, before I pour on a canvas, especially if it's a big one, I take this little um, level and I just put it around the canvas just to make sure that my canvas is level. And I can see right there that side is not. So I am going to take, I have some of my stir sticks and I'm just gonna place it right here. Actually, that might've helped. And two sticks might be too much, but we'll see. Perfect. All right, so we're level there now. And we're level here. Now, I know I'm going to be tilting this canvas and the paint's gonna be going everywhere anyway, but while, while I'm pouring, I don't want it to be going off the sides when I'm not ready for it to go off the sides. Okay, so I am going to take just a little bit of this white right here. And I'm just gonna get a starter puddle. This is just to get the colors to start flowing and all my paints whenever I have leftover paint in my cups I just take another container and cover the top or you can cover it with aluminum foil or whatever and that way if you want to use it again there you go alrighty so I've got my little puddle I am just going to and that's gonna knock my thing over but I'm just going to tip it just a little bit. Alrighty. Put this back down. Put this back on here. Alrighty. Now we're going to take the big cup and we're going to start doing a ring pour. Alrighty. So here we go. And it's hard when you have a big cup because you're starting from so high up. But here we go. And just keep pouring. You can do any, you can do zigzags like this. You can do like this on it. That's gonna give me a different composition. That might actually be kind of cool having that in the middle. And then if you notice, when you go smaller circles, it makes you have tighter rings. And then when you go larger circles, you'll have larger rings. And do another one of these. Do some squiggles. And then we'll go back to rings.
Trying to get as much of the paint out of here as possible. Oops. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take what's left in my cup and I'm going to get one of my large stir sticks and I'm gonna scrape this out and just hit my sides quick. And it doesn't matter because this is all going to get poured off anyway. Did I say sides or corners? I don't even know. All righty. Just as long as it's wet. Doesn't have to be soaking wet, just wet. And that'll help your paint to flow over your corners. One more to go. All righty. Now, I'm going to take a little bit more of this white and just pour it around here. That made a really interesting, and I just seen a glop come out of the cup. And that'll help the paint to flow. And in my tweezers. Why can I never find them things when I'm looking for them? But anyway, I know it's over here somewhere. There it is. Nothing wrong with getting your hands in the paint. Alrighty, let me torch this quick. And get rid of some of these bubbles. I'm already loving what I'm seeing in here. Pretty cool the way it is. All right, I think I'm good for now. All righty, so let's get to tilting. I'm going to move this out of the way because it's going to fall anyway. All righty, this is the fun part. And I know some of this may not. I'm going to try my best to keep it. Okay, just gonna move it around in a circle. I'm gonna try to get I'm come back this way. I'm trying to keep this all in frame for you. Whoops. Okay, it's slipping over there. Okay, I need to get this moving right here. All right, go off that side. Okay, I'm gonna come back. Bring the paint down this way. And I hope I got enough paint on here. I should have. I 
and bring it down that side. And we'll come back in just one second and I'll flip it. Okay. I'm gonna get a napkin quick. Paper towel. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna reach under here and I'm just gonna flip this. Alrighty, she's flipped and I have paint all over me. <laughs> the joy of painting. Okay, so now I'm going to tilt it towards you. I'm gonna pick it up here. And we're going to go down this way. So if we can get the paint to flow down that way, there it goes. There it goes. fix that corner and I want to get the paint to come back down this way and I can actually see through the canvas so I can tell when my paint has reached that corner. Alrighty, let me set this puppy down. Okay. I'm kind of liking this. It has almost like a geode effect and the pearlescent paint is making little cloud cells. I got a little goopy right there. All right, let me give this thing a torch. I don't think I wanna do anything to this. I kind of love it the way it is. So let me give this a torch and then I'll bring you down and show you the wet results. All righty, everyone, here she is. I'm loving the results of this. Okay, so, and the longer this thing sits, all this pearly stuff that you see happening, I believe that's gonna continue to spread just a little bit, which is really fine because it adds character to the piece. And that is from the pearlescence. Look at that. Isn't that, I love, this reminds me of a tiger's eye. If you know what a tiger's eye stone looks like, that's what this reminds me of. And when she dries, all of the metallics that I put in here are going to really, really pop out and it's gonna bring even more contrast to this painting. I mean, can you see that silver in there? And then right in here, you've got the copper. The bronze. I am in love with this one. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. And I'm okay with the little pearly cells popped out. 
I'm all right with that. All righty. So I don't think I have a favorite spot yet. I've been trying to look. I kind of like this corner right up here. I think that looks pretty cool. And this is from doing the different pours, going from a ring pour to the up and down. That gives you the different looks in the lines. And I absolutely love the way this one came out. Alrighty, folks. So I'll be back and I will show you the dry results. Alrighty, see you in a minute. Okay, everyone. Here she is. Here are the dry results. This is the next morning. She dried absolutely beautifully. All of the metallics popped out really, really nice. And I know my lighting really, really stinks in here, but we'll deal with it for now. And all those little pearl cells are actually really, really cool because this looks like snowflakes on a really big tiger's eye painting. And I wanted to mention too, when I was videoing the pour yesterday, that if you noticed when I was pouring that my paint was going kind of like in a figure eight on here. And I was trying to figure out why, and I had a dumb moment, but there is a support bar underneath this canvas. Let me see if I can lift it up and I'll show you. So that bar in the middle, that little board, that, because the paints were so heavy, instead of it puddling in the center of the canvas, it was actually going on either side of the board, causing that figure eight. And it was making the pour actually have two weights to the paint instead of one. So we will work on that as we're building these frames, but it dried absolutely beautifully. And it was probably hard to see all of the shimmer but all of the metallics are really, really popping out. So yeah, we'll get to working on the, the frame. I love this corner right here. I love the way it actually looks like a geode that's been sliced in half. Absolutely stunning. And I love the way the little snowflakes popped up on it. I'm going to have to come up with a name that fits like the tiger's eye theme with the little snowflakes happening. So if you've got a suggestion for a name, put it down in the comments. So, alrighty, everybody. I think we are good. And this painting is just absolutely beautiful. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, folks, let's keep creating something new. Alrighty, everybody. Have a wonderful day. And we will talk to you later. Bye.